Hi everyone, we find ourselves today out in the front garden and it is very humid, it's about to come down. The clouds are just heavy with rain right now. It's, you know, it's been very, very rainy here in Virginia and I've actually been taking advantage of all the rain and the beautiful, beautiful weather because I get to still go ahead and continue planting without the plants, you know, feeling it too much, going into shock. And I have something that I've been wanting to plant um, what is it? Like for a couple of weeks, we received some um, plants from Proven Winners. And this one right here is Rock and Low Bright Idea. It's a type of sedum. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. So this one right here will be available out in garden centers for next year. Um, there's two of them, two plants that will be out available next year in garden centers. There's another one that's beautiful too, meant to be queen nectarine. So this one right here, like it says, bee nectarine, it will attract a lot of bees. And I love the orange. And I thought it would be perfect to place it up here uh, in the front of the garden because we have a lot of color going on, especially with the uh, new um, coleus, el bridal that we have. It has that orangey color in there. So I thought it would be great. So the, this plant's actually gonna grow to be pretty big. We will have um, uh, under there the, um, the names and you know all the information, how big. and. Then I'm going to plant another one that is not, it's not new um, for next year. It's been around pink perfusion. So all these plants are very um, um, drought tolerant and love the sun. Now, this guy is going to get big. Salvia pink perfusion also gets big and I'm going to put it in this container. Um, I will be moving it probably next year, so it won't push out that much growth this year. It's best, you know, I wish I could have room to plant it in the ground somewhere, but that's what we'll work with for right now, just so I can have some color up there. But if you are interested in getting these before they're out in garden centers, the Rock and Low Bright Idea and the Meant to Be Queen Nectarine, you can go online on Perving Winners and look for these beauties. So let's get going and plant it up before it starts coming down. <music> As always, I'm adding my biotone in here just so the roots can, you know, establish themselves a little faster. So this whole container is peren perennial. First, I'm gonna go ahead and plant the meant to be queen nectarine. Look at that beautiful orange. Now this one is hardy six to nine zones six to nine. I'm gonna put it on the back side. And it should get pretty big, which reads here medium 30 to 36 inches. And like I said, full sun. And then, well, let's do the profusion. This is pink profusion. I do have it growing. I have some growing under some roses on the side of the house. This one does need to be the roots. You don't really have to mess with the roots too much, only if it really, really needs it. And this one does need it, so let's play with it. Pink Perfusion is also, you know, it's a salvia, it's a perennial. I'm gonna do this one towards the side right here. Oh, I can already smell it. I, yes, that's what I wanted to explain to everyone. The meant to be queen nectarine. That's the name. I hope I said it correctly. It has a very pretty, I want to say minty scent. It's very beautiful. I love it so much. The scent. I had no idea it smelled till the other day. I brought it over here and the fragrance just took me back. So, so nice. They also have it in a pink. 
Um, and then the rockin' low bride idea. I love growing these types of sedums. Um, I do have Boogie Woogie, which is a variegated type of sedum, also from Perving Winters. And it looks it looks like this, but with variegated, variegated um, foliage. And it does this blooms like that too, very big and beautiful, yellow. There we go, let's see. I'm gonna put this one towards the front so it can create kind of a spiller. It won't really go that crazy, but it'll still, you know, do that little pretty spill there. Very simple. It's just three perennials. And before I finish this one, the sedum, rock and low idea, it, go, it grows 10 to 12 inches and it is hardy in zones three to eight. Now I know it's not ideal to leave the tags in there, but I leave them in there because I always forget the names. So I always do this, especially when we do containers for other people, that's what we do too. So they can always remember. And let me, before I go to the profusion, profusion for, you know, if you haven't grown this salvia, this is full sun, 14 to 16 inches and in, it grows in the garden and it zones three to eight. So they're very hardy perennials, very easy and simple. And I'm just excited to see this grow right here in front of the door with the roses. So I'll let y'all go. I just wanted to show you what I'm planting right now around here while it's raining. I know this is a time of season where it rains so much for us and it slows us down. It rains all the time from, from um, what is it? From all the way from spring, the beginning of spring to now we, we have rain all the time. We actually have a whole week <laughs> that we're expecting rain. And this is when we start to um, kind of slow down on videos because of the rain. But even though it's going to rain, I told Ambrose, let's go ahead and record so you guys can see what's going on here before I show it off. And it's already grown, especially because they're very pretty plants. And, you know, I wanted to show you all before we go those hydrangeas over here. The, the limelights are starting to put on their blooms. So pretty soon we'll have that going soon as well. And we will show you a little tour of this area because there's a lot of pretty growing over here in a lot of color. Members wants to show a little bit of those daylilies as well. There's a lot of orange, a lot of yellow up here this year. I never thought that would be a color that I would really be into, but I'm loving it, especially because of the color of the red house and this beautiful plant right here that I just planted, the queen's bee, is gonna go perfect with it. So I'll see y'all later, and I hope that y'all having a great day. Goodbye.